If you are dealing with a spherical symmetry, it can be more useful to change to a spherical coordinate system. Any point in the 3D space is now represented by a distance from the origin, r, an angle from the z-axis, theta, and an angle from the x-axis, phi. The unit vectors point in the r, theta and phi direction and form an orthonormal set. Using this definition of the spherical coordinate system, you can write down the relation between the Cartesian and spherical coordinates and find the expressions for different operations in this coordinate system. It is important to realize that, unlike in the Cartesian case, the direction of the unit vectors depend on where you are. For example, the r unit vector always points away from the origin, and this is sometimes in the same direction as the x-axis, but most of the times not. Keep this in mind when you are determining the normal to a surface, for instance. The second important thing to realize is that when you are performing line, surface or volume integrals, you should keep into account that the line, surface and volume elements scale differently dependent on where you are relative to the origin. For instance, in the case of a volume integral, the infinitesimal volume element is the product of a step in the r direction, dr, a step in the theta direction, r times d theta, and a step in the phi direction, r sine of theta, d phi. 